Hey, Thomas Bartke here with JV Launch Secret. So, um, let's talk about how, how the membership templates in uh, Optimize Press work. There are uh, basically three different types of membership templates, and one of them is called a membership content, a content page template. Okay, I'm just going to call that a content page here. And you can create another content page, and that's all beautiful. And then you can have another content page now. And let's say, can't type. And let's say now you want to create another content page. Okay, now what happens is this. When you change this template here, to a module page, and again, this is just a, a, a name of the template. This is what I'm using here, okay? It's a, the module page template. If you choose that, then these content pages that are in one generation below the, the, the module page template will show up on the bottom of, um, of on, on the in the body of the module page. Let me show you. So it's like this, okay? The here's the module page. This is a module page, and automatically these items here are displayed on the module page, and these are things that are not created on the module page, but rather these are settings that are pulled from the child pages uh that are hanging below this uh this module page. And so in this case this module page has four child pages. They're called week one, week two, week three, week four. And the, the certain parameters that you set on these pages, again, not on the module pages, but on the content pages themselves, you set these parameters and even this icon and everything. And then the template is doing this here. The module template is pulling these content information pieces from each individual content page onto the module page. Now you can display stuff on top here. You can just add whatever you want on the module page itself, but at the bottom of whatever content you add on top here, you can, you're going to have this display. That's one of the key functionalities of the module page template. Okay. So now you can do this, right? If you're going to have a content page here and a content page here and another content page here and uh, another content page here or you know whatever then now, if you just configure it like this, if you set the this page template to content page and these uh, uh, page templates to content page, it will not show up like this. It will not show up like this. Like if you go in here into week one, this this page now has child pages, but it is set to content page template in the page template, and so therefore the child pages do not show up automatically with these fancy icons and fancy settings as they do in this page. Okay? They don't show up like that. But there's one simple way to change that. If you just change the template setting of this page, you have to do nothing else. You just change the, the template setting of this page into a module page, then these child pages will pull into the uh, the module page just like you see here, okay? So therefore, if you're creating a membership area that is complex and it has several layers of child pages, content pages, you can choose to turn a module page, a content page into a module page later. So you could build a whole entire separate string, strain of um, of content over here and you could set this up completely independent of um, 
of the previous strain that we had built over there. And now you could say, okay, well now we have all these different modules going on. Now let's just create uh, a new category here or an, a new top level module. Okay, so let's say Let's say we will call that a top level module. Now, if you set, if you set this here, if you set that template setting to a module page, it will then, and then you, you make these pages child pages. Uh, how does that go again? I don't remember. Uh, no, 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 no. I, I, I. So, oh, here we go. Connect. Okay. So, there you go. So, if you set this to a module page, and then you go into these pages and configure the the page, the parent page attribute here, if you set the parent page attribute to that page over here, to in these pages. So if you go into these pages and you set the parent page a parameter in the template and in the edit window to this page, then that page, if it has the module page template set to it, it will then use, uh, it will then pull in these module pages on the content of that, okay? So this is what we're gonna do when we build a more complex members area. We, we set up, you know, the different module pages here and then we create a top level module page that we, we can set that after the fact, we can set that to, to be the parent page or these module pages and it will automatically pull in these module pages into that page, all right. Hope that helps kind of clarify the difference between when to use when to use a content page uh, template and when to use a module page template in Optimize Press when you're building your membership site.